Hey guys, I'm about to start meal prepping. I've already started inserting my meal so far into my fitness pal. I'll put that like right here, that way you see exactly what the app is called. Download it, it's gonna be your best friend during a cut. But I'm gonna show you basically how I get my macros. It's really simple for me now. I go to how to figure out macros video. I let the ad play all the way through. And then I watch at least 30 seconds. Even if you skip the intro, just watch at least 30 seconds. The last 15 minutes is literally how I figure out my macros. You might want to go through that if you haven't gone through that before. Um, but then after the 30 seconds, I go down to the description box and then I go to this article right here. Figure your cutting macros and I input them and figure it out. So I'll let you know what that is and while I'll show you how I cook or what I cook. Okay guys, so I figured out my macros and I will be consuming 2,509 calories. Uh, my protein intake will be 200 grams of protein and I try to figure my fat for the lowest like the lowest point. And if you look at the article, it's 0.3. So I multiplied my body weight by 0.3 and it turned out to be like 58.2. So I was like, dang, that's kind of low. So I also did the measurement for 0.4, which is like one leg up. So my fat intake Take, well, I feel like it might vary day by day, but it will be between 58.2 and 77.6. And since I did that, I also had to figure for my um, carbs both of those measurements, which is like one at the lowest and one at the highest. And that will be between 296.3 grams and 252.6 grams if I had a higher fat intake that day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my cooking and show you guys how I prepare my meals to just bang it out and get this done as easy as possible. The diet is a little bleak, but I mean, that's just what it has to be. Well, unless you have like time or a personal chef to cook for you all the time, that's just what it has to be. I'm almost like done, well not done, but like halfway done with the meal prep process. This is my chicken, I have a season, I have some onions on it, I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil. And then I'm about to put my uh, pinto beans on and I already have my water for my rice. So yeah, everything's like starting to go. Gonna add some salami to my rice. Added some sesame. I don't know if I remember telling you or not, but I also put the salami in my beans too. So yeah, I'm about to turn down my rice to about a quarter. And cover it. Ooh, that's not the lid. But yeah, I'm gonna cover it. Y'all don't judge me. Yes, I'm just at home. I got a little cold, so I've got a scarf on. But anyways, this is my meal prep so far. These ones have beans. This is a half a serving of beans. That's where I run out. I'll probably make some more beans tomorrow, but this is all nine. Well, this is eight. I had one cup so far. This should probably last me about like two and a half-ish days. Um, my chicken is still cooking, so um, after my chicken finishes, I'm gonna put that basically on top of all of this. I might have like one cup of rice left over, and I just restart my cycle every couple of days. I could do more, but I feel like that's as much chicken that fits in a pan, and then that's as much rice as directed on the, um, on the bag, so it's just like, I just do it like that every few days and it's really good like I don't only have to cook once every few days I think it's really easy and I'm just gonna go ahead and go throughout my day and I'll show you guys my food intake on my fitness pal so this is my chicken I took some to work yesterday but I'm just gonna waste them out on my scale to add to my little prepackaged meals and there it is a pre-cooked meal ready to go there is you know the rice the beans the chicken and then you know just add a little salsa or something and perfect just put it in the microwave pop it in and you're done that's all you have to do for a few days 